Hi, I'm Graham Owen, Product Manager uh, for Cavernland on uh, Crop Care Products. Cavernland x to b this is a mounted sprayer available in um, tank sizes, uh, four tank sizes from 12, sorry, 1300, 16, 18 to where we are now and booms from uh, in this range 21, uh, 24 to uh, 30 meters. The x to b comes with different control options, this particular one is a full uh, X-spray machine so it's got uh, X-spray electronics. Opening the door, you see it's a very compact machine here, so the machine is compact, close coupled. Hitching to the tractor we hitch through a, a quick A-frame so we can make all our connections, then back up, up to the machine and then connect in and uh, basically just pick up the machine. On the other side of the machine is a panel similar to this and that is a clean water tank for rinsing. And this uh, here we have a clean water tank for hand washing um, and as we open panel it gives us the access to the control system. This particular machine is um, X Clean Pro so basically we're using two electronic valves. We have an electronic valve for suction which is positioned down there and an electronic valve on the pressure side. The machines can come with two manual valves or we can have an option with an electric valve at the bottom and a manual valve at the top. But basically the valve at the bottom is purely on suction. That is uh, determining where the liquid is coming from that's going into the pump, be it the main tank, the clean water tank or the external fill. Pressure valve does what it says on the tin. It's either delivering pressure out through the system and out to the boom or through the inductor, through an agitator or through other services that can be selected. A lot of service which we have on the machines on this particular version can be uh, selected on this screen here. So you'll have to come around so you can see it. So we have the screen here where the operator can do filling operations, draining operations, cleaning, uh, other. So we can do uh, turbo agitation mixing in this case because this machine has got a front tank. We can select to mix both. Um, we can fill, so we can go to fill the machine, fill with pump, activate chemical inductors. So what we would do in this case is fill with pump. And here we can now decide whether we want to fill the front tank or the back tank. So at the moment it's going to fill the back tank. If we do that, it would fill the front tank, uh, back to the back tank. And what we can do here is program in the amount of liquid we want in the back. So we, if we don't want to put the full 1800 litres in, we can put a value in there, or the distance or area we want to spray at the rate set by the controller. Having done that, then we connect the machine, connect the hose, press play, and what we'll do, you'll hear it, but you won't see anything. You'll hear some valves move. And basically the valves now have moved into a filling position. So the valve at the bottom has gone to the external uh, source for water. The valve at the top has now gone to work through the inductor and the filling system. Once we get near our amount of liquid that we need, what will happen is they will get an audible alarm. So say, are you ready? Are you nearly finished uh, filling? And if not, then we can pause it. Uh, if we pause it, then uh, we can go back finish off filling and then take clean water up into the um, into the tank. Chemical inductor, as all chemical inductors, rinsing, can wash and then for storage, sticks up underneath the um, machine there. Filter, on the pressure filter here we've got a, a continuous wash so by opening this valve at the bottom we can keep the water going across the filter helping to keep it clean. It takes it back inside the tank by a, a valve here and then it's picked up again by the uh, by the suction filter so it just enables this liquid here more liquid coming through but washing the filter element all of the time we close the door now we then go to uh, the boom this machine is a hc boom 24 meter so it's hydraulic compact folding this particular range of booms is from 24 to 30. We do have a smaller range of um, up to 21 metres, so not quite as uh, heavy as this uh, boom, or not quite as strong as this boom. But you see it's a four-part folding, so basically the machine can open out, work at um, 24 metres, 18, 12, or we can asymmetrically fold the boom as well. Booms themselves, the transporter supported in some transport cable, uh, cradles at the top, when the machine is opened out and working then we have some damping on the system which is your damping and what that does basically allows this part here to pivot on these gas accumulators that are connected to the cylinder and what that does is allow the machine as you're turning corners or braking or moving off it just takes all of the whip out of the boom. 
This particular machine is just fitted with uh, tri-jet nozzles. We can have an option of x -Flow e which is an electronic version, and that then basically gives us a full recirculation system that's mounted on the boom. All of the services for the machine are behind this panel here. As you see, these are the hydraulic services. If there should be a problem electronically, be it with the sprayer or the uh, tractor, then by winding these thumb screws in here, we can override all of the manual solenoids so we can always pull the boom up. Uh, in order to get back to um, get back to the farm. Inside here as well, on the other side, is the main brain, the main ECU that's connected to the tractor's isobus system, and the section valves are lined up underneath here. So then this one is a nine section, so we basically split the 24 meter spraying width into nine sections to give a more cut off or more overlap, the ability to reduce the number of overlaps that we have or the width of the overlap. For Basically service, again the machine is in the down position, but what we do for servicing the pump is elevate the machine, there are some holes in the back frame so we can lock the boom out so then we can gain access to the pump and the valves that are located down at the back here. But all of the electronics for all of the uh, machine all come back through this umbilical and into this main board here. So basically your main ECU and connection board is in, in the board that sits behind there. Uh, okay, the boom is, is folded at the moment, but uh, this is made out of um, a lot of parts of the boom made out of something called Domex steel. So it's a lightweight but flexible steel, so it gives us strength but still some flexibility. The boom, or the nozzles as you can see, are tucked high into the boom so that we get no, if we strike the ground or whatever, then the nozzles are protected. And the other thing you'll see if you come up here, easier to see now, is that all the hoses, pardon me, are protected underneath the top rail of the boom. So not strapped to the top, everything is tucked all neat into the top rail of the boom, just nice, neat and tidy. This machine has a system on it called uh, X-Clean that allows us to clean the machine out uh, through a series of automatic rinses, or we can do a very simple rinse if we want. We just want to rinse the nozzles, that's not a problem either. Um, but it also has a system that allows us to purge. If we come to do a spray job, then if the machine was full of water, what would happen when we turned on? We'd start with water and then the chemical would come to the centre and then start to uh, get out towards the, the width of the boom. With our purging system, then um, it's all small bore pipe. We know the size of the pipe, the pipe runs, so we know the volume that's in the uh, machine. So automatically what will happen is we press the uh, cleaning system and it will start to pump out the liquid to the centre section. That section will turn off first and the next one, then the next one as liquid, be it dilute or uh, chemical, whether we're cleaning or purging, um, is, is uh, what we actually have at the, at the nozzle. So that's this particular machine. We can have uh, pentajet nozzles, as I say, we can have singles. We can also have electronic versions, which are electronic ball valves rather than diaphragm valves here. Uh, and the individual ball valves gives us two advantages. One, it gives you a recirculation system. The other thing that we can do with the ball valve is um, also do individual nozzle shut off so we can configure this boom to suit beds or uh, uh, special work if people have got odd sized beds or, or vegetables or whatever we can configure the boom rather than in nine sections in this case we'd have 48 sections so we'd have up to 48 nozzles or we can bank them all basically create our own spray weights Good.